Well, hello there. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Sherry's Pepper Kitchen. So I thought that I would come on and make some uh, cupcakes, but they're not just the normal everyday cupcakes. These are savory cupcakes. I actually saw this on TV and I couldn't wait to try it. So if you have children or grandchildren, they're and if they don't really like meatloaf, they're going to love these. And I'm sure you can get them to eat them. So um, I am going to get started. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. This is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to move this around here. I printed off the recipe. So I'm going to make a few adjustments um, because there are things that I don't like. And remember, you don't have to follow a recipe exactly. Um, for instance, I'm lactose intolerant severely. So when I whip the potatoes, I'm not going to use milk. I'm just going to use my butter and it's not real butter, <laughs> but that's okay. So let's get started. So uh, first I have pre-measured almost everything. So it says to mince the eggs, so, or onions, I mean, and I'm not a huge onion lover, but I do like green onions. So I'm going to put those in here. And calls for a quarter cup of fresh Parmesan cheese and two eggs. <clears throat> Wait till you get to the good part. Now, I know that kids say, and I don't like this and I don't like that, but this is a great way to hide some vegetables. Watch this. So we're going to put some carrots in there, and it says to me, so I'm going to use my teaspoon. <laughs> call this a fine cheese You can call this anything you want. Now, what else could you put in if you wanted to bring it up? Uh, you could put in squash or you could put in turnips. Um, I think carrots probably the best stuff. <clears throat> you could probably uh, put spinach in here. If you like spinach or hide it. Now, one thing that I like to do, uh, our grandson, he's too. <clears throat> for me, he likes everything. But um, sometimes you wonder, are they getting enough? vegetables are they getting enough fiber are they getting enough protein so with pan yeah, we don't really have to worry about that too much because we have some enrichables uh, there's pea protein there's kale and fiber and there is the super veggie so i add that stuff not all of it i i use one or the other and it's a great way to hide things and kids husband, anyone who's a fussy eater, they will never, ever know that it's in me. Trust me. Now, I'm supposed to mix all this up with your hands, but I thought I would get it started with this. All right, let's dive in here. All right. The only thing I haven't done yet is add my spices. I like to mix everything in here together first and then add the seasonings. Now, I know that a lot of people use crackers or breadcrumbs in their meatloaf, and you can totally do that if you want. So in case you haven't guessed, if you're, if you're wondering, we're actually making, we are making cupcakes, but the cake part itself is going to be meatloaf, and then the icing is going to be potatoes, smashed potatoes. How awesome is that? And then you can do whatever toppings you want. You could put on, you could cut up some green onions, uh, bacon, you could, uh, what else did you do? I don't have a great imagination. <laughs> um, 
What else did you put on? Oh, cheese. Oh, that would be good. You can put some cheese on top. That'd be another great topping. I was just trying to think of sprinkles. You put sprinkles on cupcakes. So that would be fun. So I've just put my potatoes on to boil. So let's start with some salt. A bit of pepper calls for garlic powder and oregano and thyme. I have oregano, but I don't have thyme, so I'm going to use this garlic and herb. And there's actually thyme in here. So two birds, one stone. Calls for one teaspoon of each. So we'll put a whole bunch of this stuff in here. There we go. Now, mix all of this in here together. The reason why I like to put my seasonings in last rather than put it in with the, um, the all the ingredients is because this way I can see that it is evenly and thoroughly mixed in. Um, I find that sometimes your the ingredients it kind of gets your uh, your spices your seasonings get stuck in little pockets and you know you take a bite of something then you have a mouthful of whatever it is that you're using for a seasoning so that's why I like to put mine in last so then I can see take a quick look through everything make sure everything is kind of all mixed in together very well that looks pretty good. Now this is only going to make eight cupcakes, but I think it might make more. We'll see. We'll see. So what do you guys think of this so far? Fun, hey? I forgot to grab my It says to use a quarter cup measuring measurement. So this is my maybe or sorry, my large scoop, and this is three tablespoons. So in case you didn't notice, I am a Pampers Chef consultant. Sorry, and I uh, so I'm going to put just a little bit more than one of these in a muffin tin in one of the tins. How easy is this? There we go. Gently pat it down. There. There we go. goes in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then I have my potatoes on over there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the one hole that has got nothing in it. I don't want to ruin my tin. And then I'll put this in the oven. Set my timer for 25 minutes, and then we just have to wait for that to cook. 
wait for the potatoes to cook and put them together. All right, so here we go. Now, I did a practice run. I just did the one though. So are these cute or what? Check that out. So we have the decorators there and I just mashed the potatoes. Like I said, I only use butter. I didn't put any milk in here, but you do you. It is hot, I will tell you that. <laughs> If you have love, there's something that might be a good idea. So, how does that look? Is that adorable or what? You just put on a couple of onions, maybe a couple of pieces of bacon. Now, if your kids want something other than bacon and green onions, you could just put cheese on there, whatever they want, and I'll bet you they will eat this. So I'll finish this off with a picture. So thank you so much for joining in. This was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see your creation. So share a picture with me. I would love to see it. Thanks guys. Bye for now.